two. Yeah. And we are live here at uh, a secret location, an underground lair of sorts. And uh, we are going to drink a growler of uh, Exhausted Nihilist, which is Great Dead Brewing's uh, Polish Pilsner, if you will. It is a uh, Pilsner. We got some Polish hops in. And. Uh, we're going to drink it. Woo. Hope everybody out there is good. We uh, are about 38 seconds in here on the uh, growler. Let's see what happens. Uh, Jeff worked hard all day while I was flyer in the neighborhood for bowls and tacos. Hanging out, giving out some things for festival. Pretty good time. But um, this Polish pilsner is pretty fucking tasty. We just got the loggers done uh, over in the expansion next door. We got our lager yeast flowing. It's pretty good stuff. So Jeff, why is brain dead brewing? I'll brain dead brewing. <laughs> I'll just get into anything. Why, uh, oh, why not? Tell, tell your story about why brain dead's brain dead. Brain dead is brain dead because <laughs> of. Zombies. Hey Rocky. <laughs> hey Matthew. Zombies. Grayson, what's the up? The real reason. Don't tell Zom- me. Zombies. Zombies. Zombies is brain dead. Brain dead. Yeah. They did. Did stone. Did stone. Gargoyles. They have dead people, but not undead people. You know, vampires and shit, but not ever zombies. They haven't capitalized on that. We did. Hey. You heard it here first. Zombies. <laughs> We like zombies. Oh, speaking of zombies, we have a zombie dinner coming up uh, November Not 1st. Not even on purpose. We figured uh, Halloween, uh, we like to party and have a good time, but uh, Halloween is kind of for liquor drinkers, so we, uh, we're we doing our zombie beer dinner on November 1st because we don't need Halloween to celebrate a party. Hey, Don. Ooh, Tiffany, Don, welcome, welcome to the party. It's a bloody, bloody fun time. No utensils. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, but no utensils are used. So you gotta dig in there with people that you don't know. It's super fun. <laughs> dive, dive, dive in with your hands. Yeah. We try to make the food look like humans, so we can pretend we're cannibals and stuff. It's like a cannibal corpse show. Yeah. Who here feels like a human tonight? Who Anybody here feels like show? an animal tonight? Yep, <laughs> Uh, show. So Sam, what's the reason you did this? Why? You think it's gonna be fun? Uh, yeah, yeah. I think, I think I think drinking beer is a good time. It's kind of a, a, a chore and a uh, and a fun thing, right? Because you have to try and go within ten minutes. That's your idea. Yeah. Ten minutes and drink this whole thing with another person. Thanks, I think buddy. I think ten minutes is an appropriate amount yeah, of time. For, it. For, for, yeah, I feel like it's going to slow down a little bit. I went to Easy Slider and took a crackle to warm up. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about that when you were. Hey, you want to do this? I was like, I need to drink something. Or, <laughs> but I guess we'll, we'll drink a whole growler. Jeff's doing Jeff's doing checkouts, and I'm taking shots of tequila at the at the slider shop next door. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I see this list of stuff on my to do list, and I'm like, you know, I have all these things to do, but what what should I do? Never mind. I'm just gonna go drink a whole growler with Sam. <laughs> uh, the lines are forming tomorrow at midnight, or tonight at midnight. Friday the 13th, uh, uh, Deep Ellum Tattoo and Heart and Hand already has a line halfway around the block for all these 13 tattoos. So, uh, pretty hilarious. I thought, I, I, thought the, uh, I thought the buskers were really taking it up a notch with that daytime access, but uh, they were out in line outside of them. <laughs> Maybe that'll be my first tattoo, 13 tattoo. Yeah. A Deep Ellum. 13 for the very first one. I'm nut. Straight nuts. You going, you going nuts out the gate? <laughs> I like that. 13. No. Yeah. Well, I think we're uh, I think we're on a good pace for it. Four minutes and uh, 30 some odd seconds. We seem to be making good progress here. Does anybody have a? Uh, hey James, that's my neighbor James. James is uh, my Cedars homie. He. Uh, 
is a cool dude. We actually haven't met yet. We're, uh, we're only internet <laughs> friends. But uh, we, you know, we talk Even on the listen. internet and stuff. Give yeah. a little bit of note. Sometimes, a little. sometimes I get catch his Ubers after they drop him off. And I get in, I freak the Uber driver off. He says, completing a, a route nearby. I was like, so how was your ride with James? And he's like, how did you know? <laughs> Uh, you guys doing anything? Anybody out there drinking a beer? What are you drinking? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> We're hanging out. Nick Linsing? Dog food? What's dog food doing here? Hey, also, Grant. If you have any ideas about what to talk about, Sam and I have nothing to yeah, talk about. Yeah, you can you can add something <laughs> to the comments. The comments uh, maybe you guys shouldn't this do this. Fun for you. Oh, we put, uh, we put idle playthings in red wine barrels this week. Uh, Belgian Golden Strong and some red wine barrels. We've done that and uh, done that in bourbon before. It's pretty damn good. Sounds good. But you know what is good? This exhausted nihilist Polish Pilsner. Yeah, and that name. Crisp, cool, <laughs> refreshing. Makes you want to just like sprawl out on a floaty in the middle of a pool. You can come say hi. Hey, Tyler. Hi, guys. Tyler's metal. Metal AF. Oh yeah. What, what are your bands then? Uh, Rhea and Empty Shell. Say it. Say it like <laughs> more intense. More metal. Yeah. Don't uh, whisper. I'm in Korea and Empty Shell. <laughs> yeah. Sacrifice animals. Check them out. Oh, Friday. Friday at Three Links. I'm gonna go see a show. Atlantis Aquarius and uh, Medicine Man Revival. I don't know if you guys do uh, that Friday night stuff. But uh, Three Links will be a good show down in the hood. If you want to drink some Jameson with me and uh, have a good time, we'll be down at the Three Links getting, getting funky and hanging out. There's someone else playing too, I don't know who that is. Hey guys. Hey man. Oh, special yeah. guest. Special guest, Spencer Withrow. Spencer Withrow is with us. Also, also ah. Nailed it. Also drinking Polish pills, because that's what the... That's what the cool kids are drinking these days. Yeah, we get, the last step or whatever. We get down on the loggers. Hey. 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 You're right. Oh. That's not nice. No glassware shaming. We don't have shaker pints here. You don't shame anything but shaker pints. I see you. Was it glass talking? Yes. Nice. Yes, glass talking. I'm uh I'm getting a little intoxicated at this point. Kind of surprised. Yeah, it would be fun like to do, you know, those videos where they have like four people that don't know each other and they all get high. <laughs> we have the old lady. It's like the same idea, except with drinking. We should already be like too deep. Or I guess you are kind of. And then it's like, let's see where it goes, man. Here's a topic. We're working on it. We need it. like a guy over here that's like, what do you guys think about this? Uh, ben Smith is sent from Central Track offered to do our filming and editing and help us make this legit. <laughs> Uh, shout out to Ben. I really appreciate the gesture. Uh, but I don't think we're ready for anything like this quite yet. <laughs> yeah, it would be like comedians in cars getting coffee. There's no way they're that funny the whole time. You know? They yeah. had to dip that down. You have to. The magic of editing is a beautiful thing. You can't all be Sam and Jeff and be funny all the time. I don't think we're being funny. <laughs> I just think we're being, we're being silly. But uh, that was it. that was it for the growler. We're uh, we're on pace, eight twenty seven. So what's yeah, what's, what's going on in uh, what's going on in your world? You got uh, you got the kids. They're back to school. What's Odie up to? Odie, <laughs> right now? Yeah. It's, uh, uh, is she waiting tables at uh, at Fireside Pies? No, she, she has school today. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, she does wait tables. And then her uh, and Harvey. And then Harvey uh, Harvey. He had the parent-teacher conference. He didn't bite anyone. Harvey didn't bite anyone. Exciting. They said he was really good. <laughs> Exciting news. <laughs> He's very smart. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. Yeah. <laughs> Never want to tell kids they're smart. It's just their head, you know. Then they don't try and try anymore. I have a I have a talented and gifted English, and I have this like super cool hippie teacher, and he was awesome. He would play a he would play a song to start class, and we, he would ask us all to think about it for like three minutes after the, the song, song finished. He'd play Talking Heads and like all kinds of cool stuff. What grade? He'd ask us. High school, so yeah. you know okay. this is probably sophomore year. But he'd play uh, you know Talking Heads as we as the class entered, and then after it he'd put it on pause and have three minutes of silence. And we were all supposed to like think about what the song was. Yeah. 
it's pretty it doesn't cool. actually seem like a waste, you know? It seems like thought, you know? But not like a, let's Ten watch this stupid yeah. video. Uh, 953, we're behind schedule. Uh -oh. I really wanted to do this in 10 minutes, but... I forgot we were talking. We're, get, we're getting close. <laughs> So we were thinking about, um, like I said, Ben Smithson from Central Track said he wanted to help us out and do some audio. That's pretty cool. We've got uh, uh, got some other people. Wayne uh, Ostrander's volunteered. He wanted to do this with us. He's outside of the beer industry, so I'm curious to see what his growler consumption abilities are. But oh, Wayne is the sure. uh, is the rancher we give our spent grain to. Um, he'll probably be coming up soon. And. Uh, yeah, if any of you guys think that you want to come drink a growler, uh, maybe we can do some uh, some foursomes where we do two growlers on four people, or uh, maybe one time uh, you can drink a growler with Jeff, or maybe you can drink a growler with me. You know, hey, Brooke Humphreys, hey, look at that, Brooke, I hear you're coming to the neighborhood. When's Beauty Bar happening? Let me know. I hope I'm not spilling the beans. Am I allowed to talk about that? <laughs> Anyways. Brooke, I look forward to having you uh, join us in the Deep Ellum crew. That's uh, you're you're an awesome person, and I appreciate everything you do. How can you read that, Jeff? That Judge, part? I have laser and half vision. Wow, my eyes are not that good. Oh, nice. Help me. Help me. Um, so 11:29, 11:30. Not bad. Um. Things didn't necessarily get very entertaining. <laughs> maybe you liked it, maybe you didn't. Maybe you want to come and uh, show us how it's done. I hope I hope somebody will. I think this is a good time. I think uh, it'll be fun to post it and see what happens. We'll get some, some people in all walks of life to come join us. This isn't necessarily a beer geek thing. Uh, we happen to be beer geeks, and that's kind of how it's starting. But uh, that'll be like the morning show. Out. So people in the background. Um, so that is uh, officially, ooh, officially it. Uh, Growler Station Part One has uh, come to completion. Uh, go drink some beers, meet some friends, hang out with people, be kind to each other, be excellent to each other, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for uh, killing 15 minutes with us and. Having a good time. Bye. Well, well, that didn't work.